Hey guys, today I want to talk about Magic the Gathering reprints and what they do to prices. First and foremost, I will say I am a big supporter of reprints. I think reprints are the way to go, and I would much rather have people to play with than nice cards to look at. So we'll talk about what has happened recently with um, Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt was a $275 card. I traded my Mana Crypt away when it was $200, and I felt like that was a bad deal at the time. It was a bad deal. But now you can get a Eternal Masters Edition for less than $75 mid. You can get it for on eBay for less than $60. That's incredible to have an EDH staple really be relatively affordable. Even the um, invention version is under $200 now. Now Caracas from Eternal Masters is $60 for this edition. The Legends edition is slightly over $100. You can definitely find cheaper copies on eBay. But that's crazy to me. that This card is so good in Legacy. Uh, definitely I play and... Actually, I needed four copies of this card, and I'm very glad that it received a reprint and its price tanked because I wasn't going to pay $150 a card at the time. But love it and death and taxes. And a lot of times the reprints help me more than they hurt me, so that's why I'm always going to support them. Now this card, I haven't even heard of this card before, but apparently it was $30 at one time. And now it's 15 but you can get a Take the Crown version for under $5. So for EDH, it's really cool that it was reprinted. And I can see why it would have a $30 price tag without the reprint. It was in a stronghold. When you have reprints, it's also going to reduce the prices of these older boxes because the expected value just declined so much. And I really appreciate the fact that you can play with these old cards in a new set, in a new environment. And it feels the same like it did before. Like this card is really, really good. And it's played in almost every green ED8 deck. And I love it. I love the fact it's no longer $30. And show and tell. Show and tell for a brief moment in time was one of the powerhouses in Legacy. It's still a good deck, but it's not as strong as it used to be. You can get a copy of Show and Tell for under twenty dollars. This was a eighty dollar card, and you could have got the Judge promo for like a hundred at one point in time. You can get a copy for twenty. You can get a whole play set of this card for less than it's the price that it would cost you to buy one. So, is Wizard of the Coast doing a good job on reprints? Absolutely. You no, know, I give credit. I'm very critical of them, but they have done a fantastic job on reprints. And it's fact. It's not, no matter like what my opinion is, the prices of these cards have plummeted. You could get a playset of them for the price that you would have to pay one of them. I had shown tells, but it's okay because I don't need it to be $80. What I need is I need players to play against me with decks that they want to play with. And that is the objective. So overall, I'm very happy with uh, the reprint with Wizards of the Coast. I'm uh, leave me a comment below what are your feelings about it, and bye guys.